Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Giant James Kitchen. Uh, this week I will be teaching you how to make uh, salmon with uh, basic avocado red onion dressing. Let me talk you through the ingredients we've got. Um, we've got cilantro or coriander, as uh, English call it coriander, Americans call it cilantro. So it could be easier in the supermarket. We've got sea salt, we've got pepper. We've, we had our salmon fillets there, they've gone to defrost. We've got um, four limes, a bowl of rice, two avocados, one red onion, got garlic. We need about three cloves of this. This is a whole bushel, whatever it's called. We've got a knob of ginger. <laughs> knob. Uh, we're not gonna use all of this. Um, it's not mine. It's just we found it from the supermarket. Um, cider to drink, I drank on. Extra virgin olive oil, which should be in every kitchen, no doubt. And balsamic vinegar, which is just ideal, or vinaigrette, which is ideal for your seasoning. Right, so first of all, we're gonna get this rice cooking, because that'll take the longest. Fill this pan up. You want about an inch above the, above the top of the rice, about an inch, inch and a half of water. Um, and we're just gonna put that bad boy onto boil. Okay. And so while that's cooking, we're gonna do the whole dish right now. So put your limes to one side. We're gonna start with our red onion. Down the middle, end to end of the onion like that. So root to top. I'm gonna to cut it relatively thin because it's gonna go nicer in the, in the little dressing. If you cut it too thick and people bite into the onion, then they get Loads of onion chunks. It's not about onion chunks. This one here, then we're gonna take our avocados. I hope these are ripe enough. We're gonna take two avocados. I mean, I could have like eight avocados. I love avocado. So, as much avocado as you like, really. We're just gonna dice it up and mix it in. When you when you're trying to get your avocado right, you want to give it a squeeze. And it wants to be pretty soft, not totally squishable in your hand, but you want to be able to like, like make a thumb imprint in it or an indent at least. If you can't, if it's too solid, it's not ripe enough. So we'll just use one avocado today. And the good thing about being in Hong Kong is that everything's really expensive here except for avocados. Um, so I should say that's a good thing about being in Hong Kong. Not a vegan thing. So take that, um, and then we're going to take a bunch of coriander like that. That'll do. About half the width of your hand. It's going to taste quite powerful. Um, just chuck your red onion in with your avocado, and you want to get like a mixing bowl. But yeah, but you can add cherry tomatoes, you can add salsa verde, you can add other tomatoes, um, peppers, feta cheese. Um, we're not going to add that today. We're just going to get a lime. We're going to squeeze the juice of one lime over this. Make a nice, generous dash of salt. Don't be shy. And a nice sprinkle of extra virgin olive oil. Mix it all up in there and you'll get like really nice flavors of like lime, um, coriander, red onion, avocado. Smells delish. Give it a quick taste test. Mm. Delicious. So, the bitterness of the red onion, it's not too bitter. Um, and the citrusness of the lime kind of go really, really well together. So, take a smaller knife. This is easy with a small knife. I'm just grate some, sorry, peel some ginger. I like ginger, um, but it can be really, really overpowering. Obviously, if you're Asian and you're watching this, you probably like ginger a lot more than I do. We're gonna slice and dice. 
go over it with your knife a whole bunch of times until it's like all mashed up and really, really small and tiny. I think we want to cook this for about, so just use the big flat of the knife to crush these. Makes life so much easier. You know, I haven't been back to Barcelona in a few years. I've been five times. I, I, love, I love Barcelona. It's amazing. It's a great city. They have um, a, a market there called La Boqueria, which is like a picture is a guy. Um, as soon as you go into the Boqueria on the left hand side, is an old man. He's about 90 years old. He's been in that market for 85 years since he was a kid. So be way before I was alive, obviously. Um, and they do some mean food there in that market. It's just amazing, absolutely stunning. If you're a, if you're a foodie, you want to go to the Boqueria Market in Barcelona. It's a place to go. Unreal. So, as you can see, lots of garlic. Just olive oil. Add a bit of salt to that oil for flavor. Put all your uh, chili, ginger. If there's a little bit of coriander in there, who cares? So just give it a stir. I mean, you can add chilies, chilies into this. You can use a bit of chili, fresh chilies or dry chilies in this. It's all good. And you just want to fry these on a really low temperature. It's called sweating. And we're going to add this. I don't know if it needs a little bit more time. Garlic and ginger. And we're going to add, that's quite a lot, so we're going to add half of that into our mix. Okay. A bit more salt. And we're going to, we're going to fry these salmon fillets skin side down first, okay? And that's to stop the fillet curling away. Right, and the trick is to cook them for four minutes on each side. Give it a little bit of taste test. That's, that's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. The ginger and the garlic. Perfect. I could have added, added the whole garlic. Alright, so it's cooked. So I just got the level just about right. I'm too male. I can't do something and talk at the same time. So we're about three minutes in on that side. Okay, that's four minutes on one side. We're gonna flip it. See that perfect golden brown skin. And that skin should be nice and crisp now. Perfect. It should have been a celebrity chef. That's what I like, yeah. There's still time. Maybe I can be one when I'm an old man. Just traveling around eating delicacies. Like I will change recipes mid-dish. Look at that, perfect. So I like skin side up, because I like that skin and the noise you get when you cut through it. Avocado, goodness. And that, voila. All right, thanks very much, guys. Um, leave some comments in the below comment section if you fancy. Hopefully no, not too much trolling. Um, Hope you like that food. Super easy to cook. Next week, um, I'm not sure what I'll make. I'll probably just decide again last minute. Otherwise, um, enjoy the food, and I'll catch you next week. Thanks.